Hearthstone card packs. About 90% of all players have bought them at some point in the hopes that they'll get those few cards that they need. But what actually is the chance of that happening? Well, worry no more, because in this video, we will solve the mystery of packs. So without further ado, this is Hearthstone's Pack Odds. So to start our video off, let's find the probability of the worst pack in Hearthstone, which is 4 commons and 1 rare. Now, as we all know, one card in every pack is a guaranteed rare or higher, so this helps us work this out. The odds for every card in a pack are as follows, 71% for common, 23% for rare, 5% epic, and 1% legendary. But for the guaranteed pack, we just subtract the common chance, so that leaves us with 94% rare. So assuming that the guaranteed card is rare, and every other card in the pack is common, that leaves us with a total of 23.8%. So this means that one in every four packs will be a completely regular pack. So next up, what is the chance that at least one of the cards in the pack will be common? Well, since there are only 4 slots for the common cards, and the chance of a common is 71%, all we have to do is take 0.29 and multiply it by the power of 4. This leaves us with the answer of 0.007. Then we multiply it by 100, and that gives us 0.7%. So the chance that at least one of the cards in a pack will be common is 99.3%. This means that every pack is almost guaranteed to contain at least one common. Now, what are the odds of a rare in a pack? So since one card is 94% and all the other cards are 23%, all we do is multiply 0.06 by 0.77 to the power of 4, and this gives us the answer of 0.02. Then we multiply by 100, and this gives us 2%. So in every pack, there is a 98% chance for it to contain at least one rare. This again means that at least one rare in a pack is almost certain. So next is epics. And since we know that every card has a 5% chance of being an epic, all we need to do is multiply 0.95 by the power of 5, and this gives us 0.77. So as always, we multiply by 100, and this gives us 77%. So there is a 23% chance for a pack to contain at least one epic. That's a 1 in 4 chance, by the way. And finally, legendaries. And since this is a 1% for every card, we just take 0.99 and multiply it by the power of 5. And this gives us 0.95, which is 95%. So in every pack, there is a 5% chance of that beautiful orange gem appearing. That's a 1 in 20 chance. So if you were to buy 60 packs at some point, remember that amongst those 60 packs, you should get at least 3 legendaries. So now that we've worked out the basics, let's get a little more interesting. Starting with the odds of a golden common. We know that on average around 5% of all cards are golden, so all we do is work out the odds of a common card being gold, and this gives us 3.5%. So all we do is multiply 0.9645 by the power of 4, and this gives us 0.865, which when multiplied gives us 86.5%. So this tells us that in every pack, there is a 13.5% chance for the pack to contain a golden common. That's a 1 in 7 chance, by the way. Next up is golden rares. And again, we know that the odds of a golden rare is 1.15%. Then we work out the odds of the golden rare in the guaranteed slot, which is 4.7%. So all we do is multiply 0.953 by 0.9885 to the power of 4, and that gives us the answer of 0.909, 
which when converted is 90.9%, so the odds of getting a golden rare in a pack is 9.1%, and if you're wondering, that's a 1 in 11 chance. So what about golden epics? Well, we know that the odds of a card being a golden epic is 0.25%, so we just take 0.9975 and multiply it to the power of 5, giving us the answer of 0.9875, which is 98.75%. So the odds of a pack containing a golden epic is 1.25. That's exactly a 1 in 80 chance. And now, the big daddy. Golden Legendaries So, since we know that the chance of a card being a Golden Legendary is 0.05%, all we need to do is take 0.9995 and multiply it by the power of 5, and this gives us the answer of 0.9975, or 99.75%. So that tells us that the chance of a Golden Legendary in a pack is 0.25%. So one in every 400 packs will contain a Golden Legendary. So now that we know the single probabilities, let's move up to the bigger rarities. Starting with 5 rares in one pack. We know that the odds are 0.94 and 0.23, so all we need to do is multiply 0.94 by 0.23 to the power of 4, and this gives us 0.0026, which is 0.26%. So that's a 1 in 384 chance that the pack will contain 5 rares. Next up is 5 epics in one pack. So to work this out, we just multiply 0.05 to the power of 5, and multiply it by 100, which gives us this number. That's a 1 in 3.2 million chance, so a pretty low chance. And now, the big daddy, is the legendary 5 legendaries pack. So as always, 0.01 to the power of 5 multiplied by 100 gives us this number. That's a 1 in 10 billion chance. So I'm sorry, but don't get your hopes up anytime soon. But we're not done yet, oh no no no. Let's say these packs were entirely golden. The odds of getting 5 golden rares in a pack is 0.047 times 0.0115 to the power of 4, and then multiply by 100, which gives us this number. That's a 1 in 1.2 billion chance, by the way. Next up is the odds of 5 golden epics in a pack. And this is 0.0025 to the power of 5, and then converted to give us this number. That's a 1 in 10 trillion chance of happening, by the way. But these packs ain't got nothing on this big mother. The dream of 5 golden legendaries in one pack. Is it possible? Well, to work it out, we times 0.0005 by the power of 5, and then convert it to give us this number. That's a 1 in 32 quadrillion chance, by the way. So while it is possible, it is almost impossible at the same time. But this is still not the rarest pack in Hearthstone, no 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 no. We still haven't talked about duplicates which is when you get two of the same card in one pack. So first, let's work out the odds of getting one gold of any form in a pack. To work this out, we simply take 0.95 and multiply it by the power of 5. This gives us 0.773, which is 77.3%. 
So this tells us that the odds of getting at least one golden card in a pack is 22.7%. So roughly one in every four packs will contain a golden card. Now let's work out the probability of getting one specific card in a pack. There are around 250 cards in the classic set, so 249 over 250 to the power of 5 is 0 0.98, which is 98%. So that means that if there is that one specific card that you're looking for, you will only get it once in every 50 packs, on average. So what are the odds of getting 5 of the same card in a single pack? Let's say 5 wisps in one pack. Well, to work this out, we multiply the equation 1 over 250 by the power of 5, and this gives us this number. That's a 1 in 976 billion chance of happening, by the way. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the rarest pack in Hearthstone, 5 golden versions of the same card. To work it out, we take 1 over 250 to the power of 5 and multiply it by 5 over 100 to the power of 5, and then multiply that by 100, and this gives us this number. That's a 1 in 3.125 quintillion chance of happening. To give you an idea of what that is, the average odds of winning the lottery in the UK is around 1 in 50 million, so you have a higher chance of winning the lottery back to back than you do of getting the rarest pack in Hearthstone. So while it is good to dream, it will most likely always remain a dream, but still, we know, it is possible. That's it for this video guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.